What's going on, Junkie Nation? Today we get to talk to one of our favorite athletes of all time. We've covered her in MMA, boxing, Muay Thai. She gets down, she collects belts, and her next fight is a boxing match. It's coming up here in a couple of days against Aria Wild. How are you, Chris? Good to see you again. I'm great, you know, excited here. First time in London, first time in fight boxing here. In MMA, anything, you know, my first fight here. Defense is amazing. I check it out a little bit to see this beautiful. And it was sunny day here. They say I'm lucky because usually don't have sun here. So I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're right. We've been to London a few times and uh, the, the sun doesn't come out too often. So if you got yourself some vitamin D, that's good. Hey, so tell me, um, what is the difference between the mindset from when you're going to box to when you're going to compete in MMA? We've met you through MMA. But you've been successful at everything you do. So tell me about boxing. What What's that fight week like? What's that anticipation like? What are those nerves like in your belly? You know, I feel like when I'm doing boxing, it's different stress. It's not like a stress, like a lot of responsibility in my back. But it's more like um, um, i less comfortable because it's a new sport for me. And I've been working really hard and training for learning new skills. And they really want to show... You know, making my, my, my team proud of me, you know, then really teach me a couple of things, you know, help me improve my game in boxing and really boxing the girl I'm fighting. Go to war, you know, this is a wet in my blood. So, but I would like to show a little bit of boxing and my opponent, be I'm studying, set up his things. So, this is a, I, I really looking for. If and when you get the knockout, I'm sure it'll feel good. We hear about that fighters high from being able to finish somebody but uh tell me about like is it hard to not be able to use those elbows those knees a kick to the head like um how do you compartmentalize i guess all of those skills and all those tools you have to just throw in hands you know i think like uh, uh, if you see all my fights usually i really keep it keep it up a strike you know i like i like strike um i didn't i didn't miss I don't miss uh, kick on the one fight boxing, but sometimes I'm in a box situation. I say, you know, if I kick here, done this fight. You know, like it's like uh, some situation. If I think, but it's not because I want to throw, but like uh, I I know that like I was can finish the fight that way. But you know, I always like uh, like finish the fight by boxing. It was my strike, uh, but it's nice. You know, it's nice. It's new challenge for me. Ariel Wild is your opponent. She's been doing a, a, a training camp. She's been training boxing for a while now. We've seen a little bit of her footage. I'm sure you have as well. I'm just thinking, though, even though anybody can look good when they're sparring, and respect to her, we don't know what she's going to look like in the event. What I'm curious about is how she's going to react to when you punch her. <laughs> uh, everybody think it's not just in boxing, MMA, too. You know, I think... It, I think I think she's not gonna be a surprise take a punch because you cannot be surprised in boxing you take a punch you're gonna get some hit. Um, I hope <laughs> she's been training really hard and they know it'd be a great fight for for defense and everybody love. I know she's a hustle. I know she do a lot of things outside the boxing and much respect for her to be have courage you know to step in the cage and um, this is you know I think it's a good thing to do and let's see how it's gonna work the fight. But I hope she's. You work really hard and know do great fight for the fans. Chris, have you ever felt that when you're fighting someone where they're confident, they got a mean mug going on or whatever, and then once the fight starts, that first punch changes things. Have you ever seen that in your opponent's face where it's like, oh, man, what am I doing here? I just see my last MMA fight, you know, when I fight Katzingano. She's been mm. talking a lot. Of, she's talk, talk, talk. And they say she's gonna submit, submit me. She's gonna do it. She did a lot of plans. And then when I punch her first time, I see her face change. She say, mm. "Wow, I think I cannot handle this." I see it, the way they change the plan. And then they finish the fight. A lot of people like to talk. I I really don't like to talk. I like to keep it up simple. And the fight's gonna happen. Let's see what's gonna happen. But when you talk, it's big responsibility. Chris, there's not a lot of things in, that are left in combat sports that you haven't done. But one thing in particular, you know, you get to fight in the UK. It's different fans, right? How have they received you so far? No, I'm, I'm really happy. So when, when I start training, uh, I was in shooter box in Brazil. And I have a lot of friends 
you know, MMA fighters coming to here for cage rage. So uh, I, I like uh, Jay Jean Silva was the champ at that time. Cyborg come fight here too. I think Anderson Silva came to fight cage rage too. So it was a heavy like a story, you know. It's nice to uh, come on back and remember when they travel here. You know, should the boss come to fight here? Make me really happy because I was uh, I was happy hoping one day he was fighting here, but it was like it was the, just a dream. And now it's nice to dream coming true. I have the opportunity to box in, and they for sure have a lot of old school fans here, and they're going to come to support me. Chris, I know fighters can sometimes be their own harshest critics. What do you think of your boxing skills? How do you think you've improved here throughout the years, and how much do you like it, and how much more boxing do you see yourself doing in your career? You know, I, I can tell you I'm getting like a, a blue belt, a little couple of stripe. I'm starting to learn a little bit more. I think every camp I'm doing just to focus on boxing. Uh, I'm learning a lot. So when I stay like a lot of weeks in the Benavides team, I've been boxing for, with professional boxers and then uh, sparring with the girls from boxing and they train every day box for sure to get improved a little bit, getting better. Um, I'm learning, you know, I'm learning. Uh, I want to do great. And I really critical of me. I want to watch my sparring, my training. I really make me upset when I don't learn it so quick and stuff. But, you know, I mean, I'm getting better. You know, I think if I keep going, keep learning, this is going to be like normal. And and you guys are going to see how I improve. And then I can see like I want to get better little details. And I just really happy about the results. You know, there are also some boxers that are have done the move over to MMA a little bit, right? And, yes. and there's one in particular, Clarissa Shields, that a lot of us would like to see you guys fight, whether it's MMA or boxing. But primarily, I think there's a little bit more interest on the boxing side because of how well you've been doing. Do you think eventually, at some point, this fight will be made? I know they, they offered and it came kind of close, but numbers may, weren't really there. Do you think eventually we will get to that fight? You know, uh, the bigger the bigger issues, I think it is, it's like uh, money. You know, I think it have to be the money right for this fight to happen. Um, have to be close to MMA money. You know, uh, I know people from boxing coming to to MMA because the money is really the girls is different. Uh, for because the shoes have a lot of fights, a lot of experience. So and the shoes, I think, is the weight too. She don't want to drop the weight now. You guys see, she's gonna go have a weight. So it's supposed to be. If you really fight her, it's going to be like Liz 147. Maybe it can be with the 40 money, you're right. But, you know, she can give up the weight. I give up the experience. I have two fights. So, and then, you know, the big difference, I'm a puncher. So I would like to fight eight gloves on. And it's going to be different. She knows this. We sparring before. So, um, but, you know, I believe, like, if this fight happens, a lot of things have to, to have the agreement. But of course, I would like, you know, I think it's a big fight. I think everybody would like to see this fight. She calling me out to my second box fight. So let's see. So this depends on her now. So this happened and the money had to be right. On the MMA side, um, you know, I, I, it seemed as if everything was kind of pointing in the direction of uh, Larissa Pacheco. And now it seems like maybe that might not be the case. Can you kind of clarify what, what, what exactly is going on on the MMA side? You know, I just signed a deal fight Larissa Pacheco, uh, supposed to be in September. Uh, I was really happy. I was doing interview. Yes, next one. And then what's happening, then, then the team, PFL, talk contact to my team. They say they changed the plans. Uh, they don't know the date is going to be. So I'm looking for have a meeting with PFL. I was already looking for have a meeting. You know, I've been talking to Mike Hogan about this before signing this last deal I did. Uh, for you can start, you know, sit down and face to face and make a plan you know uh see what's going to be next so uh hopefully you know i'm going to be back from this fight i have a meeting with you then and they're going to say no more news about this uh but supposed to be champion against champion and if not if it be for bellator belt probably is going to fight who's the contender number one the bellator Liam mccart everybody excited to proceed this fight so let's see i have a lot of options so i just want to put the, they have to put the plan together but to be clear, Chris, you did sign to fight in October. That means you guys agreed on the money, the opponent, and everything. It was we, all we set signed, at one point? We signed to fight September. September, okay. September, yeah. Wow. Well, that's great news for fans that want to know, well, what's what's the holdup? Yes. But then you said it's the PFL that changed their mind, not yes. you. Yes, they contacted my team. They want to talk. Uh, they changed some, I think, the dates or something like that. So. Hmm. 
Oh, man, we got to get you back inside of a cage, an MMA cage as well. We enjoy watching you box, and we're going to watch you box this Saturday, June 15th. They're in London, folks. CF1 Off Chain presents Chris Wild against Ariel. Sorry, Chris Crypto Cyborg against Ariel Wild. Excuse me? Crypto Fight Night. Crypto Fight Night, Saturday. Right. That, 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 that's, yeah, that, okay, Crypto Fight Night. You're right. That's the CFN part. Um, so we want to wish you the best of luck in this boxing match against Ariel Wild. And then, of course, you know us. We want as much Chris Cyborg as possible. You've spoiled us over the years with all those belts that you've won at Strike Force, Invicta, UFC, Bellator, title defenses. We've seen you fight Muay Thai. We've seen you fight boxing. Um, and it doesn't look like you're slowing down. Honestly, you just keep getting better, to tell you the truth. You know, I, I really, I really love my job, and I like to improve, and I like the new challenges. You know, and I feel great. I feel great. I feel better than before. So, experience fighter, and you know, I always take care of my body for take care, keep it long, a long journey, and just thankful. I hope you guys be watching. Go to mychrisab.com if you're here in London. Would like to buy a ticket? Come to my fight. If you want to watch online, you can put the app in your phone too. Um, fight TV. And thank you, guys. I appreciate your time. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Chris, for the time as always. And please see if you can fight in PFL because I want you to collect another belt if okay. it's possible. You're the belt collector. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then you can go back and defend Bellator or whatever. But I, everyone wants to see if you can win a fifth belt. If, uh, I, if, you, if I fight as the champion, I deserve get the belt. Right? Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. It's exactly. Good. If you and Larissa fight, it should be for that belt because there is no – um, featherweight division this year. It's it's flyweight, yeah. so she should be defending her belt. And what better than to get two great fighters in a title fight? We need to yes. see it. Thank Excellent. you, Chris, for the time. Thank Good luck you. in the boxing match. We'll be yeah. watching. Okay, nice. Thank you.